hi everybody very good evening to you uh, so in this video we'll today talk about a function uh, which is called a cell function and uh, this is a function which many of you might have not even heard about it but trust me this is a very interesting function and uh, and wh what exactly we are going to do in this video is uh, we are going to learn today a formula which can actually display uh, or you know which can actually return us the sheet name like for example as you can see in this uh, this is a new workbook which I have opened and it have uh, it has three sheets sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 so I want to actually get the name in any of the cell like for example if I change this to a then that function should return me the sheet name which is called a and similarly in this because it is a sheet 2 so I should get here sheet 2 and this sheet is sheet 3 so I should get here sheet 3 now this could be any cell in the Excel right so this is very interesting and uh, uh, the reason why I'm actually uploading this video because uh, in my previous uh, training sessions uh, one of my students actually he walked up to me and he said that you know he needs a kind of a formula or VBA code uh, which if he enters then you know that actually can give the sheet name the sheet name where you are actually working the sheet which is active so uh, I know that uh, when I say that you must be thinking of some VBA code but I think this is a very very small thing and we can actually use a formula and we can prepare this right so before I actually jump onto this I let me just take you to my website which is excelvblover.com and just uh, tell you in case if you are watching this uh, video for the first time then these are the tutorial training sections where you can go ahead and see that what training I provide online wherein you know I personally groom uh, my students and then also you can go and watch all these free videos which are available uh, category wise like suppose if you are interested in watching the VBA then go in the video tutorial section click there and it will take you to the VBA videos and here categorically you know all these links will take you to my YouTube channel and you can watch all these videos right so and similarly you can also watch the same videos on my YouTube channel here go in the playlist here you can see that I have all the play playlist here you will see all my Excel videos uh, Excel VBA all in one go so this is the video number 150 if you want if you're interested in a VLOOKUP function go and watch all those advanced level videos on the VLOOKUP so cate category wise you'll see almost every subject right all right so now let's come back to our target and let's see what exactly we can do here right so this is going to be a video number 150 and I really want to thank you a lot because you know with actually you guys you know writing me in so many emails and asking so beautiful questions I think I have been able to upload this 150 video so it's a long journey uh, we started this channel I think um, uh, six months back and uh, so thank you so much day by day I'm, I'm seeing that a lot of uh, subscribers are you know subscribing to this channel and so that means that the channel you're actually liking this channel and in fact uh, I must tell you uh, just a week back I actually received a call from you know Saudi Arabia as well and uh, so this guy is working there and uh, he has some issues with his office work in Excel of course and then he was watching some video and then he you know uh, went to my channel and saw that video and he liked the video so much he actually called me <laughs> and thanked me so that was really a very good moment for me so thank you so much and uh, so I always aim that whenever I upload some video it should actually give you some value right you can apply that stuff in your office office work or wherever you are exactly working so all right so I think I have actually talked a lot today uh, so let me just come back to the work and tell you that what we are going to do so I'm very excited to actually share a function called cell right so this is a function which uh, can give you a lot of things for example when you write the cell you see that it can tell you the address column number color content so many things what we are going to use is we are going to use the file name parameter so just close the bracket and press enter right so the moment you do that um, it is actually going to show you the address of the file since I haven't saved this file uh, so let me quickly first save the file let's just press the control s and I'm going to save this in the 
let's say desktop do you want to replace it uh, I don't know what I have kept with this name so maybe I can name it let's say a save it all right there you go I have saved it now I'm going to press again enter and you see that the magic <laughs> that cell was blank and immediately we got the path <laughs> wow that's great well uh, so this tells you the path of the your workbook where it is and then you this also you know not only going to tell you about the sheet name but you can also use this function to see where it exact where exactly your file is stored so this is telling me in the C drive in my desktop on my desktop and with this file name called a.xlsx which is the extension of my workbook and the name which I am uh, which you which you see here uh, the this um, in the you know the brackets after the square bracket a that is actually the sheet name right so we need to now extract this here I have got the step one is to get this function cell file name and it will tell you the workbook name with the sheet name now the next thing which we are going to do is we are going to actually extract this a which comes after the square bracket now you if you're wondering that how come we have this two square brackets then because this is a workbook name and this is how the workbook name get addresses right if you link one workbook with the another workbook uh, two cells of the two different workbooks then you will see that you will have these square brackets right so what we are actually going to do is we are going to find out this uh, close square bracket we call this square bracket okay uh, so it is available on the same key where you have the curly bracket where you have this curly bracket so you just need to when you if you want the curly bracket you press the shift key otherwise if you don't then you can simply press that button where you see this symbol right so now what we want to do is in the step 2 we actually are going to find the square bracket so this is how I'm going to write this square bracket and uh, so before I write let me just press equals to so here we are going to find the position of this square bracket and within the text this is the text and the start number has to be 1 the moment I do that it is going to tell me the position of the square bracket now I need the text after the square bracket so I'm going to add 1 to it right now the third step which is the final step is that we'll actually use the mid function so in the mid I have three parameters I'll go in the text and I'll say that my start number has to be 30 which has already one added to it and how many characters I want so let's say I want the 300 characters just thinking you know that uh, maybe if my sheet name is very long I think uh, you can't have a sheet name more than 255 characters but anyways uh, you can google it you, you can check right but I'm just keeping it 300 so that my sheet name can be covered so you see here that I've got the sheet name right so if I'm going to change this name to let's say HG look at this the formula itself changes right now if you don't know about this find and mid function no worries just go to my this uh, training video in the Excel training and video tutorial section and there you will find a category called text functions I'll just take you there so my net is walking a little slow today I don't know why might be the reason I winters has started so it's feeling like a little lazy <laughs> so anyways uh, so here you can see all these functions using mid left right and you can know how to use the two find functions together so every video you watch here is going to give you a lot of understanding on this text functions right all right so and you can also find the same in uh, in this uh, my youtube channel as well uh, here you need to find this is text functions go there and you will see all the videos there right okay so now let me come back to this uh, so now you must be wondering that uh, might be thinking I believe you should think actually that Ajay if I have to create this in two steps then what is the need of it is better I close this workbook and then I go to the you know the right click and then go to the properties and I can check the path from there or maybe I can you know use the F12 because when you press F12 it takes you to the you know path the original path so you can see in this just click on it and it will tell you the path right 
So, first thing, uh, this is just I uh, actually I have discussed this in the stepwise so that you can understand it what we are going to do. But now, once we have seen that what exactly we are going to do, we, we are going to use three functions cell and then find and then mid. It's time now to combine the function and make it very, very powerful, right? So, let's see how we're going to do that. So, first thing first, I'm going to write my cell and then I'm going to write this file name and and remember the file has to be saved first if it is not going to be saved then it will give you the blank as we seen in the beginning of this video right now once you have this now what you need to do is you need to find the position of this square bracket which is close square bracket so this is how I'm going to write within the text this is the text this formula will give me the path which means that this C colon and then desktop and whatever the path I have for this workbook it is going to give me and the start number has to be 1 and this 29 will come which we actually you know found in the step 2 now I'm going to add 1 to it the moment you add 1 to it it is going to give you the position which is now going to be used in the mid function so right here the mid function now in the mid function what do you want you need to give this function a text where it can actually go ahead and you know find it out something for you so in my case it is going to be again you will use the same function file name and then close the bracket right now and this if you look at this mid parameter it says that this is the text so text means that this entire whatever the value you are seeing in this C6 uh, which is the complete path including the sheet name of workbook it actually is showing up right. So in this what we are doing is we are saying that start from the number where you have already found a position of square bracket and adding one to it. So it means we are actually in this particular case we are saying that start from the 30th position and after you start from the 30th position which is H just cover the next let's say 100 characters because nobody actually likes to give you know such a long name uh, to their sheet I believe so but then you can always keep it 1000 as well so let's just enter it and so alright so we got some error here so let's see what is the error uh, so here we have this info type let me just see if we got in the correct thing or not file name yeah so I I think the quotes were missing there actually now if I press enter it should come all right so we got the sheet name right so now you can copy this and you can paste it anywhere any cell and it will give you the sheet name right and if you go to the sheet 2 just let's say copy this and paste it wow you got the sheet name right so if we let's just change this to sheet name to let's say good morning right now if I'm going to copy the same function which I have uh, let me do this copy this and uh, let's just paste it here all right there you go so now you have the sheet name the moment you change this let's say to good you will see the changes it's like you know it seems like a magic is happening it's like a macro is <laughs> running but it's not actually as you know so this is how you can actually use this right and uh, so as always thank you so much uh, for being a part of this channel and this is my email id you can write me in in case if you have any query regarding the training or something is troubling you in your office I'll definitely go ahead and try to help you out right so signing off now with the video number 150 go and enjoy and do subscribe to the channel and uh, so as I always say that have a great learning and stay fit thank you so much bye bye